We're here on the uh, east side of the uh, bleachers. We'll meet over there, okay? And then we'll start at the rabbit show at 9 o'clock.
podcast. Okay, so we're going to get started here with the 2020 uh, Rabbit Show. So again, thank you for coming today. Things are a little different, um, but things are going to flow pretty smoothly. It's a nice, cool day. Um, I First of all, we're going to take and uh, start. We have royalty here today, so I'm going to let them take and introduce themselves and tell them a little bit about their uh family and this and that, and then we'll get started with the show. Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor Brinning. I'm the daughter of Shane and Kathleen Brinning, and last night I won Washington Fair Queen, so yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Phelan Hostetler, the daughter of Keith Hostetler and Clint Michelle Shala, and I got first runner-up last night. Hi, everyone. My name is Olivia Merrick. I'm the daughter of Brad and Mary Sue Merrick, and I got second runner-up last night. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bryn Beanblossom, the daughter of Marty and Teresa Beanblossom, and I got Miss Congeniality last night. Who's the man in charge? Okay, with that, we're going to take and turn the mic over to Mike Avising. Here's our judge this year. I'll let him tell a little bit about uh, his background, and then we'll get started with the, uh, we're going to run four class first. And so just to be ready, uh, the uh, we're going to start with Florida Whites here just as soon as Mike gets done. Good morning. I'm uh, Mike Avising from Muscatine. Um, I've been raising rabbits since uh, 1966. I started as a 4-H project. I uh, went to my first rabbit show in 1969. been judging open shows since 1987. And I've had the opportunity to judge rabbits all over the world. I've been to Asia and Canada, virtually every state in the country. So really been a great hobby for me and uh, you got to thank it all for to back to 4-H for getting me started in it. So thanks for having me this morning. Thanks, Mike. Um, just a couple of things we talked about at our exhibitors meeting too. Uh, we do want to have just the exhibitors bringing the rabbits to the table. Obviously, they know if they have multiple rabbits, we're not going to start that show without them. So uh, it might take a little bit longer to get some of the rabbits to the table, but uh, we'd like to have them do the do the work. So uh, understand, like I say, it is different with parents being uh, with your child, and that's not a problem. Um, but like I say, we told them too, to make sure you guys, if you need water, uh, the Farm Bureau has got water over here in front of the 4-H hall. So make sure you take advantage of that. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to have first up Florida Whites, the senior buck, and senior doe. We're going to have up on deck for the Florida White Junior Bucks. Be up on deck. We have showing right now is Grace Hiller. You'll notice that she has on the gray polo shirt. She is a senior this year. All of the class of 2020 graduates are wearing gray 4-H polos, and they're sponsored by Woodoff Farm Supply.
Okay, on the table we have our Florida White Senior Bucks, Senior Does. We'll talk about this guy right here. Um, he's going to be first in the class. He is uh, D3. If you're, um, He's going to be a purple ribbon rabbit. A Florida White is a small, compact rabbit. Um, like to have a lot of depth of body on him, a lot of width of body. Um, and when you run your hands over them, you shouldn't feel any bones or anything. They should be nicely fleshed, very smooth, and in nice condition. That's a very nice buck. We're going to give him a purple ribbon. The uh, second place buck in the senior buck class is going to be uh, D33. He doesn't have near the body type. He tends to be a little bit weaker in the midsection from a body type standpoint. And he's uh, badly hutch stained and out of condition today. So he's going to be a red ribbon rabbit in the class. And then our senior doe, who will be first, is R5, I believe it is. And she'll be, she'll be a blue. She shows some nice body type, really nice width of the loin. But again, just a little bit hutch stained and out of condition overall. So the senior buck will be a purple, then a red, then a blue for this one. And that was Grace Hiller with the Florida White Senior Buck. She got first place with a purple ribbon and second place with a red ribbon. Also Grace Hiller, the Florida White Senior Doe with a blue ribbon first place is Grace Hiller. Now we have Florida White Junior Buck. We have up Isabel Duval, Quincy Duval, and Grace Hiller. Up on deck after these Florida White Junior Bucks is the Florida White Junior Does. They'll be up on deck.
Okay, we've got our Florida White Junior Bucks on the class. Uh, I'm going to start down here with the uh, fifth place rabbit. Will be D23, and we're going to give that rabbit a blue ribbon. A, uh, one of the things about rabbits, if you show rabbits, is the uh, the prime show age for rabbits is like four to ten months in, in most breeds, and these guys are probably a little bit on the the three-month age side, probably a little bit shy of four months. So they aren't quite as developed as the couple that are at the top end of the class. But they show some promising body type. They're in nice shape. Uh, so they're certainly deserving of a blue ribbon. Okay, number four in the class will be D19. Again, a very similar rabbit. Uh, my guess is probably a litter mate. Uh, just a little bit off in the, the width at the rib. But again, very nice condition on it. Very nice rabbit. Very promising, it'll be a blue ribbon. Third place rabbit is uh, D17. D17 doesn't have, and it'll be a blue also, D17 doesn't have quite the development of the shoulders that uh, some of the other the rabbits above it have. This tends, but it has, a real, has the nicest coat of fur in the class. I guess it doesn't want to go in that spot right there, wants to move up a little bit. Number two in the class will be D16, also a blue ribbon. Um, a rabbit with very promising body type, has very nice depth of body, good flesh on it. My guess is it's probably the oldest rabbit in the class. Again, just a little bit hutch stained, a little bit off in its overall condition, but deserving of a blue. First place in the class is going to be D18. That rabbit has, I think, in my opinion, the best overall body type in the class. It's still just a little bit of a baby in its coat. It has nice condition, good color on it. We'll make it a purple. So, Congratulations to all of you. But those two, these two we need to hang. That okay, one needs to stay. Two, yep. Okay. We'll leave this one here. Yours in. Yep. For the Florida White Junior Bucks, fourth place, correct, fifth place is going to be Quincy Duvall with a blue ribbon. Fourth place is Isabel Duvall with a blue ribbon. Third place is Grace Hiller with a blue ribbon. Second place is Grace Hiller with a blue ribbon. And first place is Isabel Duvall with a purple ribbon. Now we have Florida White Junior Does. Up now, we'll have Isabel Duvall, Quincy Duvall, and Grace Hiller.
Okay, we have our junior doe class up here, the Florida Whites. I'm going to start here with uh, fifth place. And that rabbit will be R15. And uh, when you get her posed up here, she just doesn't have the development of loin area. She tends to, what we call, peak early and kind of slide off in the back end of the rabbits up above her in the class. She is nicely conditioned, got good flesh on her. So she'll be a blue. Fourth place is going to be R20. This is one of our younger rabbits. Again, just doesn't have quite the development of loin of the rabbits above her, uh, but she'll be a blue. Number three in the class is going to be R21. A real promising little rabbit. Very nice body type on it. Very nice condition. Doesn't quite have the flesh condition that first has, but it'll be a blue. Number two, another very promising little rabbit is R22 or R2Z, one or the other. Uh, again, very nice body type, nice young coat, good flesh condition. That'll be a blue. My first race rabbit in the class is R14. She's really got very nice body type. When you get her posed up, she's got an excellent loin. She's got a really nice hind quarter. She's got very good flesh condition on her, but when you get her back and look at her, she's badly hutch stained, got a lot of urine on her. Um, my opinion, that, that keeps her from becoming a purple ribbon rabbit, so she'll be first, but she'll be a blue. For the Florida White Junior Does, fifth place will be Grace Hiller with a blue ribbon. Fourth place, Isabel Duvall with a blue ribbon. Third place, Isabel Duvall with a blue ribbon. Second place, Quincy Duvall with a blue ribbon. And first place, Grace Hiller with a blue ribbon. Up now, Himalayan Senior Buck with Braden Clow. Oh, mixed breed. And the best of breed on those for the Florida Whites is going to Grace Hiller for her senior buck. Now up, we'll have the Himalayans with the senior buck and senior doe and Braden Clow with both of those. We would also like to recognize and thank the Federation Bank for their sponsorship of the 4-H t-shirts for each of the members this year. You'll notice many of the showmen are wearing these today. Thank you to them, Federation Bank.
Okay, on the table we have our Himalayan rabbits, and uh, this, Himalayans have a kind of a unique body type we'll use a senior doe to talk about. Um, when you pose the rabbits, you pose them up uh, str long, stretched out. You want, you want to definitely want a tubular approach. Um, like the young man was saying, you want them to kind of look like a Pringles can, kind of a long, narrow animal. Um, this, some, it's a kind of a unique breed. It's the only breed out of the whole standard that we pose this way. But, uh, some good representatives up here in the senior buck class. Second place is going to be is it CH1. CHI, okay, Chi. And he doesn't have quite the body type. He's slipping his coat. We're going to give him a red ribbon today. Our first place rabbit in the class is going to be J, J A Y. He'll be a blue ribbon rabbit. He is not real happy about being here at the fair this year. He, when you get him out, he just wants to go right back in. He doesn't want to pose at all. Got two nice senior does. My second place senior doe is going to be the black doe here, it is 2 T O O, and she'll be a blue ribbon rabbit. My first place rabbit, the one we used for an example of what we're looking for in the breed, is going to be BC21, I believe it is, and she'll be a purple. Congratulations. All right, I'll hang on to her. Himalayan Senior Buck, first place is a blue ribbon to Braden Clow, and second place, he also to Braden Clow with a red ribbon. Himalayan Senior Doe, second place to Braden Clow with a blue ribbon and a purple ribbon for Braden on first place. Himalayan Junior Buck and Himalayan Junior Doe are up now. Braden Clow. Up on deck is also going to be the Holland Lop on deck with their senior buck, the Holland Lop. Okay, we have our Himalayan Junior Bucks and Junior Does here. Um, start with the Junior Bucks. Second place is going to be uh, BCIT or BC1T. 
And you get that guy posed up, he's got nice length of body, but he's what we call a little bit heavy hipped, meaning you don't really get that tubular effect in the hip area. He tends to be just a little bit broad back there. So he's going to be a blue ribbon rabbit. The first place junior buck is going to be BC2T. Get him posed up. He shows excellent length of body, very nice profile to him, some very promising point color on him. So he'll be a purple. In the junior does, second place will be BC6T. Again, she's very similar to the second place junior buck, and then when you get her posed out, stretched up, she tends to be a little bit heavy in that hip. Just a little bit immature in her coat today. Our first place junior doe is going to, and she's a blue, the second place one. First place junior doe is BC5T. Again, another doe that's got very nice type, very promising young animal. You can see she's starting to get her point color on her, and she'll be a purple. Our best to breed rabbit is going to be the senior doe down here, who is um, the BC21, I think it was. Congratulations, some nice animals there. For the Himalayan Junior Buck, in second place with a blue ribbon is Braden Clow. First place with a purple ribbon is Braden Clow. Himalayan Junior Doe, second place. Braden Clough with a blue ribbon, and first place is Braden Clough with a purple ribbon. The best of breed for Himalayan goes to Braden Clough with his Himalayan senior doe. Now we have Holland Lop, senior buck up. We have Kylie Dolan, Ryan Dolan, Brett McDowell, and Allie Reese. All of the fresh shavings that you see in the show ring today is a thank you to the 4-H Wood Products of Crawfordsville. Thank you to them.
Okay, on the table we have our uh, Holland Lop Senior Buck Class. Uh, Holland Lops are our smallest breed of lop rabbit in standard uh, with a top weight of four pounds. We'll talk about this guy down here. Uh, what we're looking for is a nice round head, almost like a softball. Uh, the crown is where the ears are based at, sit right on top of the head. The ears, short, thick ears hang right behind the eyes. Then you want a short, compact animal. Ideally, I like to get them to sit up on their front feet a little bit. These guys are just a little bit shy in that regards, and then a nice round hind quarters. Um, nice class of rabbits here today. We'll start down here at this end. Um, I guess the sixth place is going to be G28. We're going to give that guy, little guy a blue ribbon. Um, he does have some roundness to his head. He's got a very nice shape to his ear. He is in a molt. Uh, one thing about rabbits is they tend to molt when it gets hot. So you know, your rabbits a lot of times molt during the summer. There's not a darn thing you can do about it. Just kind of groom them and do the best you can. So definitely deserving of a blue. Uh, next rabbit's going to be... Is it D12, I think? O12, okay. Very similar rabbit. He's got some nice curvature to his head. Got a nice substance to his ear. His ears hang well. Good shape to his body and a little bit in a molt, and he'll be a blue. Our next buck is going to be SR10. Uh, really nice headed little buck with some excellent ears on him. I don't think he has quite the overall width and depth at the shoulders that the uh, three bucks above him have. But just a really exceptional uh, representative of the breed, especially at the 4-H level. He'll be a purple. Then I have a ZFG601. All right. Again, a rabbit with a really nice head shape. It's got an excellent crown on him. Really got a nice ear hang. He's a little bit weak in the shoulder, and he's just a little bit molding, but still deserving of a blue ribbon. Very nice rabbit. Second place in the class is uh, SR16, I believe it is. And uh, he's also going to be a purple. Very nice head shape on that guy. Sits up well. He shows nice shortness of body. He tends to be a little bit weaker in the hind quarter. Doesn't have quite the fullness and roundness there that the first place in the class has. First place rabbit in the class is going to be JD, I believe it's a 12. I think he's going to win on overall balance. He's got a nice head shape to him, good crown and ear, and nice round hind quarters. And he'll be a purple. So four purples, two blues, very nice class. Congratulations to everybody. All right, for the Holland Lops, the senior buck. We had six rabbits up there in sixth place with a blue ribbon is Brett McDowell. In fifth place with a blue ribbon is also Brett McDowell. Fourth place went to Kylie Dolan with a purple ribbon. Third place went to Allie Reese with a purple ribbon. Second place goes to Ryan Dolan with a purple ribbon. And the first place for Holland Lop Senior Buck goes to Kylie Dolan with a purple ribbon. Now we're on to Holland Lop Senior Does and Junior Buck for Holland Lop. Adeline Klepper will be up with two and Allie Reese. Up on deck then we'll have Minnie Lop, Senior Buck and Minnie Lop, Senior Doe on deck.
Okay, on the table we have our Hall and Lop uh, Senior Doe, and uh, Junior Buck. Start with this doe right here. Second place Senior Doe is going to be... It's A.M. something. Is that what it is? A.M. 07? Okay. She'll be second. She just a, got some pretty nice curvature to that head and got a well-set crown and ear, but she's just a little bit long in that shoulder for a week in her hind quarter today. The first place senior doe will be this doe right here. Was uh, it's got a K in there? Okay. And when you look at that doe, she's just a little bit narrower in her head. She doesn't have quite the roundness to her head. Once you get past that, she's got the best body type of any rab we've had up here yet in class. You can see how she sits up really well, rounds off really well in that hind quarter. She's in pretty good condition. So we'll give her a blue. And then I got a very promising little junior buck down here. You get him out, and he is... Um, AK-18, the route to Hitachi to Okay, AK-18. He's got really nice little roundness to his head, good width there between the eye, carries his ears well. Nice short little guy. He's still a little bit of a baby coat, but I think his, his potential is really good, so we're going to give him a purple. Really nice little rabbit. Our best of breed is going to be the broken senior buck down there. Congratulations to all of you. For the Hall and Lop Senior Does, second place is Allie Reese with a blue ribbon. Adeline Kleffer is first place with her Hall and Lop Senior Doe with a blue ribbon. Hall and Lop Junior Buck, first place with a purple is Adeline Kleffer. For the Hall and Lop Best of Breed goes to Kylie Dolan and her Senior Buck with the Hall and Lop. Now we have Mini Lop Senior Duck, Buck, no ducks, but a buck. Mini Lop Senior Buck and Mini Lop Senior Does are up. Jake Debler has a couple of them, has two, Elliot Debler and Shauna Sublet. The best of breed ribbons today. Thank you to the Bell Sisters Rabbitry. They're sponsors for the best of breed ribbons. Thank you to them.
Okay, when we had the Holland Lops up here, we, we talked about how they were our smallest breed of lop rabbit. Uh, mini Lops are kind of our medium-sized lop rabbit. They can get up to six and a half pounds. And then you got uh, the French Lops and the English Lops, which are 10 or 12 pound rabbits, which are at the top end of the Lops. So good representatives all the way through. It's a nice group of rabbits today. And second place in the senior bucks is gonna be this guy right here, who is um, something 75K2. He's got an excellent head. He's got really nice roundness to his head. He's got a nicely set crown. Very nice shape and substance to his ear. He is a little bit long in the shoulder, but he has really nice roundness, fullness to his hind quarter. Very deserving when we give him a blue ribbon. My first place rabbit in the class is going to be the buck right here. And he is K something three, KH3, KW3, okay. Very nice rabbit. He's got really nice curvature to his head. Again, nice crown and ear. Very nice shortness of body, very nice condition on him. He'll be a purple. And down here in the senior doe class, I got this is two very competitive does. Second place is going to be E36. Again, she's got the proper head shape. She's got a nicely set crown and ear. Got very nice depth of body. Ideally, like see just a little bit more width on her in the back end. A very good representative of the breed. She'll be a purple. Then my first place senior doe is going to be J5D, I believe it is. Again, a doe with nice head shape, a nicely developed crown. Um, for this time of year, she's got a superb coat of fur on her. She'll be a purple. Four very nice mini lops. We'll hang on to the first place senior buck. He's the one we're going to hang on to. You have juniors? Okay, if we don't have any juniors, this buck will be our best of breed rabbit then. I'll put him back behind me and just leave him right there. So. Mini Lop, Senior Buck. In second place is Shauna Sublet with a purple, or correction, a blue ribbon. And in first place is Jake Dubler with his Senior Buck, Mini Lop. Purple ribbon, first place for him. Mini Lop, Senior Doe. Second place is Elliot Dubler with a purple ribbon. And Jake Dubler got first place for Mini Lop, Senior Doe with a purple ribbon. The best of breed for Mini Lop will go to Jake Debler with his Mini Lop Senior Buck. Mini Rex Senior Buck is up next. Kinsey Keeper has two. Ruby Newton. Bryn Northrup with two. Hunter Robertson. Kenna Robertson. Ellie Todd has two. And Allie Wolf. Mini Rex Senior Buck. You will notice with the mini Rex here, senior buck showing, we have one senior showing with Ellie Todd. She has on the gray 4-H polo. Graduating class of 2020. And again, thank you to Woodoff Farm Supply for sponsoring our seniors at the county fair. As Therese mentioned, the uh, seniors are wearing uh, gray polos. We'll be bringing them up after the show before maybe showmanship starts and maybe give them a little bit of time and uh, tell them what their future is uh, holding for them. And as Mike's working through this class, the mini-rex uh, 
we are working on four class rabbits. And for those of you, for those of you that don't know, four class rabbits means there's four classes. We have over six months seniors, uh, bucks and does, and we have under six months uh, junior does and bucks. And then when we get into the sixth class, again, there's six classes in that breed. You have seniors, uh, bucks and does, then they have intermediates, six to eight months, and then also junior does and bucks under six months. We have a special project recognition also to put out. I'd like to recognize Kylie Dolan of the Washington Go-Getters 4-H Club and Blake Peck of the Lime Creek Livewires 4-H Club. They received a Rabbit Project Award at the 2019 Awards Nights. They excelled in personal rabbit projects, learning workshop, and leadership experiences. So congratulations to Kylie and Blake. Well, as you might guess from the size of our class, the uh, mini Rex are the most popular breed of rabbits in the country today. Uh, when we have our national convention every year, they get uh, a couple thousand of them, maybe 2,500 of them shown there. So uh, it is a very popular breed. Uh, you know, size-wise, it's easy for the kids to handle. There's lots of different colors, so they're a, a very popular breed. We're going to start down here. I got a couple rabbits. One thing about a mini Rex, uh, senior bucks, they can only be four and a quarter pounds. Uh, so we got a couple of five pounders here that we got to give red ribbons to. You got a near number? Uh, he is KK3. KK3. This is a tricolor mini rex. You can see he's got a little bit of harlequin breeding in him, so he's got some different colors on him. He's in pretty good condition, but he's just a little bit large. Then we have BO2. BO2 will be next. Again, you can, this guy's again just a little bit big for the class. He's, when you get your hands on him, he really has great flesh condition. He might be the firmest rabbit in the class. 
But again, just a little bit big for the class, so he'll be a red. I'm going to start down here with my blues. I've got a JA03. Does that sound right? He's got a nice little head near on him. He's got good shortness of body. Just got a little bit of a summer coat, a little bit of summer color, uh, but he'll be a blue. Feels good. Nice type rabbit. Got a black buck coming up next who is E32. He didn't have quite the body type. Uh, lacks just a little bit overall depth of body, but he's got a nice quality coat on him. He's got excellent flesh condition. He'll be a blue. We've got a caster buck here who's a mango. Mango shows a nice top line to him. Got some beautiful color to him, a little bit off in his flesh condition. He'll be a blue. I have a red buck next who is... Tank. Okay, Tank. Well, he's got an excellent little head and ear, lots of width of body. He needs a little bit of depth of body. Pretty nice coat on him, very nice color. He'll be a blue. Fourth place in my class is going to be E43. Very nice. And he'll be a purple. Very nice type. Black buck. This doesn't have the condition of coat today, but he has very nice flesh condition on him. I have three really nice rabbits at the top end of this class. Third, what is it? B06. B06, our black broken. Uh, just a really nice representative of the breed. Got an excellent little head and ear. Very nice body type to him. Beautiful color and pattern. Just doesn't have the overall finish and condition of the two down at the far end of the table. I think you could pick either one of these two rabbits and make it first, depending on you know how you put your points and how you evaluate the rabbits. I'm going to make the black buck second today. He is uh, MS2, I believe it is. Sound right? He's going to be a purple. This guy, he doesn't have quite the width of body at the rib that the little red buck has, but this guy's got a superb coat of fur, especially for this time of year. I mean, that's a prime coat. You don't see those kind of coats usually until you get to about November. So excellent job taking care of him. He's a purple. My class winner is going to be the little red buck right here, who's also a purple. Zeus. Zeus is his ear number. Uh, again, when you look at him, you can see he's got a really nice little head and ear on him. Very nice shortness of body. He's got a nice feel to his coat. Very even in his red color. Not a lot of shading, not a lot of smut on him. Two very nice rabbits. That's an also an awful nice broken down there. Congratulations. That was a mini Rex senior buck, and we had 10 rabbits shown there. Kinsey Keeper was in 10th place with a red ribbon. Bryn Northrup in 9th with a red ribbon. Blue ribbon goes to also Kinsley Kiefer, 8th place. 7th place goes to Ellie Todd with a blue ribbon. 6th place to Hunter Robertson with a blue ribbon place to Kenna Robertson with a blue ribbon. Fourth place with a purple ribbon goes to Ellie Todd. Third place with a purple ribbon to Bryn Northup. Second place with a purple ribbon to Allie Wolf. And the first place mini rec senior buck goes to Ruby Newton with a purple ribbon. Now we have mini rec senior does up. Kinsey Kiefer, Ellie Todd has two, Allie Wolf, Hunter Robertson, and Kenna Robertson each have two. Up deck then we'll have uh, on deck Mini Rex Junior Buck and Mini Rex Junior Doe on deck.
you may notice that some of our superintendents here are wearing the red superintendent shirts. They are the new red superintendent shirts donated by Washington County Farm Bureau. I'd like to give a special credit to those in those shirts today, Chad Dolan and David Moeller. They put in quite a bit of time during, before, and after the fair to make sure that it all runs smoothly. So thank you to Chad and David for making this show happen smoothly. And also thank you to Farm Bureau for sponsoring their brand new red superintendent shirts. Okay, we're going to start down here with um, ends in DO1, DOT maybe on the end of it, something like that. Could be that, yep. And this, this is a, uh, a tricolor broken. And she's a little bit, she's four and a half pounds is the top on senior dough. She weighs five, so we got to give her a red ribbon today. She does have some beautiful color on her, very interesting pattern. You can see the brindling, a tricolor effect on her. She's in good flesh condition. She feels good. So she'll be a red because of her weight. Start down here with a, a white dough. This is Claus. We're working on our tattooing stills. What is it? M R S. M R S? Okay. Claus? Mrs. Claus. Yep, MRS. <laughs> She'll be a, a blue ribbon rabbit. Nice short representative of the breed. Got a nice quality coat on her. She doesn't have quite the flesh condition some of the other ones have. We 
got a red doe next. Is, what was it? R-A-Z. She's talking to everybody. She's saying hi. I don't think she's real happy about being at the fair, but she's got a nice little head and ear on her, a nice depth of body, very even red color, and uh, just doesn't have quite the overall condition. I got a blue on a uh, E49 chocolate doe. She's got very nice width of body. She really feels good from a flesh condition standpoint. She's a little bit out of coat, kind of spoils her color. Our next animal here is going to be Diamond, D-I-A, and she'll be a purple. Uh, very nice width of body. Doesn't have the depth in the hind quarter the rabbits above her have. Uh, then we've got a red doe. C-O-T, um, very nice red doe, I might add. A really nice little head and ear, beautiful color. Uh, getting red color right on just on any breed of rabbit is really challenging, and uh, to have this many reds here with this nice a color, somebody down here is doing a really nice job with them, but that's a very nice red doe. Second place in the class is gonna be my broken doe. She is E45, I believe it is. Um, Set her out here against the Chindo. It's going to win the class, and the uh, Chindo's just got a little bit more density of coat. They're both very nice rabbits. My first place rabbit, that's a that's a purple, by the way, second. Uh, first place rabbit is S-H-I, maybe S-M-I. Um, really nice chin. He type to it. Good width of body and just, a, again, excellent density of coat for this time of year. Very nice rabbit. Up next, the Mini Rex Junior Buck and Junior Does are up next. The Mini Rex Senior Doe. We had eight rabbits shown in eighth place is with a red ribbon, Kinsley Kiefer. Seventh place with a blue ribbon is Kenna Robertson. Sixth place with a blue ribbon is Hunter Robertson. In fifth place, with a blue ribbon, is Zelly Todd. Fourth place, with a purple ribbon, Ketta Robertson. Third place, with a purple ribbon, is Hunter Robertson. Second place, with a purple ribbon, is Zelly Todd. And in first place, with a purple ribbon, is Allie Wolf for Mini Rex. Senior Doe. Two Junior Buck and two Junior Doe Mini Rexes. And they're all Ellie Todd.
been talking as much as our red senior does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, in the junior bucks, uh, we have second place in a blue ribbon is going to be E56. Got very nice width of body, doesn't have quite the depth of body, he tends to be just a little long in the barrel, but he's got very nice condition, so he'll be a blue. First place in the class. is E58. He's going to be a purple. He's got the better body type of those two rabbits. He's got really nice flesh condition on him. He's still just a little bit immature in his coat, but the quality is there. Get into the junior does. We've got a couple very nice junior does. Second place is going to be E67. Maybe it's 57. She'll be a blue ribbon. She's got very nice flesh condition on her, nice coat. I don't think he's quite as balanced or quite as deep as the first place dough. Our little broken dough will be first. She'll also be a purple, and she is E55. She's a nice balanced little dough, pretty color and pattern on her. She could stand be a little deeper in her hind quarter. Right now, we're just waiting here on the best of breed for the mini rucks. Up next will be uh, mini satin junior bucks. They're going to be on deck here. Mini rucks junior buck. Second place was uh, Ellie Todd with a blue ribbon, and first place, Ellie Todd with a purple ribbon. Also for Mini Rex Junior Doe, Ellie Todd with a purple ribbon in first place, and second place, Ellie got a blue ribbon for her Mini Rex Junior Doe. The best of breed for Mini Rex is going to go to Ruby Newton with, her, with Ruby's Mini Rex Senior Buck. Congratulations. Mini Satins, Junior Bucks are up now. Isabel Duvall with two. Quincy Duvall, Grace Hiller with two. And Caroline Richardson. Thank you to KCTC for their generous gift to live streaming all of our shows. That link is listed on the show programs in case you need that, so you can tune in for other shows this week at the county fair. We appreciate their generous support. Families and friends around the world will get to enjoy the fair this year since we're unable to come and see it firsthand. They can see it firsthand right there on their screens at home. Again, you can enjoy the show by following the link on the show program. You see all the previously recorded 2020 Washington County Exhibitor Fair Livestock Shows right there on the KCTC YouTube channel.
Okay, and our mini satin senior bucks. The uh, mini satins are uh, very similar to the mini rex that we just had up here in body type, weight, structure. Uh, they just have a satin coat of fur where the mini rex carry a rex coat of fur. Um, fifth place in the class, going to be Elf One. She's got a nice little head and ear on her, good shortness of body. Um, just lacks a little bit of overall condition. She'll be a blue. Got a little broken Martin here. DB or D6. Excellent little head and ear on that rabbit. Again, needs a little bit more depth of body. He's kind of between coats. It's a little bit hutch stained on his back end. He'll be a blue. Third place, another Martin is uh, Rebel. Rebel's got excellent width of body, really nice density of coat, but just a little bit off in condition. He's got a little bit of summer color. You can see he's kind of browning out a little bit. He's also going to be a blue. Second place in the class is going to be Otis. Otis has got very nice body type to get him out and pose him up. He's got a lot of depth of body. Again, he's a buck that's kind of between coats today. Just a little bit dirty in his overall condition. He'll be a purple. And then my first place rabbit in the class is going to be 14. Um, very nice body type on that guy. Uh, for this time of year, he's got some really nice black color on him. He feels really nice. So he'll be first. He'll be a purple. Five rabbits shown there with a mini satin junior buck. Fifth place goes to Grace Heller with a blue ribbon. Fourth place goes to Quincy Duvall with a blue ribbon. Isabel Duvall, third place with a blue ribbon. Second place with a purple ribbon goes to Grace Hiller. And the first place mini satin senior buck with a purple ribbon goes to Caroline Richardson. Now we have mini satin senior does. Isabel Duvall and Grace Hiller has two. On deck then, we'll have Netherland Dwarfs, Senior Buck. Netherland Dwarfs, Senior Buck on deck. Okay, we have two senior does up here today. Second place and a blue ribbon is going to be Elf 2. She's got some very nice depth of body. She's got some really nice flesh on her. Just a little bit open in her coat, a little bit out of condition today. Some really nice sheen on her. First place and a purple is going to be R11. Just some very nice body type on it. Really pretty color pattern, broken black otter. Again, just, she could be just a little bit cleaner in her overall condition, but she'll be a purple. And first, we'll hang on to her. Do you have juniors? Okay. Okay.
Okay, our best of breed in the mini satins is going to be the black senior buck. For mini satin, junior does, Grace Hiller got second place with a blue ribbon. And Isabel Duvall got first place there with mini satin senior does with a purple ribbon. The best of breed for the mini satins goes to Caroline Richardson with her mini satin senior buck. <laughs> Netherland Dwarfs are uh, up next, senior bucks. Chase Berg, Kylie Dolan with two. Ryan Dolan with two, and Caroline Richardson with one. Netherland Dwarfs are up now. Senior Buck, Netherland Dwarfs. If you want to bring them on up, Chase Berg. Kylie Dolan, you have two. Ryan Dolan with two. And Caroline Richardson with one. That on deck, we're going to have Netherland Dwarf Senior Does on deck. Of course, we love to celebrate the hard work of all of our youth. We have a new space for that, thanks to the Washington County Fair Board for their sponsorship and work on the new photo backdrop. Make sure you use the hashtag Washington Fair, actually it's WashFair20 on social media so that your hashtag WASHCO4H family can follow along. Along with that, there is a small table up there for that backdrop, too, for the, the rabbits. If you want to take pictures up there, I know Amy set up, Amy Green set up a table with uh, some flowers and stuff, so go take advantage of that also.
Okay, we have the Netherland Dwarf Senior Bucks on the table. Uh, dwarfs are one of our very smallest breeds in the standard. Uh, two and a half pound top weight. I got a buck down here that's a little bit overweight for the class, so I got to give him a red, and he is um, SR11. He's got a nice little head and ear on him and a good eye. He's just a little bit over three pounds, so he's a little bit big for the class, but he's in nice condition. Say, so, him. Start down here with our blue. Blue buck is going to be his. MDD2 is going to be fifth place today. He's got a nice little head near him, nice roundness to his head, um, good shortness of body. He's got some toenail issues, little mis mismatched toenails, but he'll be a blue ribbon rabbit. Got a little chestnut buck here who's B, BST, maybe BSI, something like that. Again, a rabbit with a really nice little head, little ear, good shortness of body. My guess is he's getting a little bit of age on him. He just lacks a little bit of condition. Nice color to him. He'll be a blue. Whoops. Got a Rue Buck here. Who is S1 or 51. He's just a really nice little rabbit. He's got a very nice shape to his head. He's got excellent ears and an excellent eye. Uh, but he's out of coat today. Not much you can do about that. But uh, he's, um, when he's finished, I'm sure he's a very nice animal. Uh, he'll be a blue. Second place in the class, I got the black buck here, who is R01. R yeah. He'll be a purple. He's got an excellent head to him. Very nice length of ear, good width of body. Again, he's molting pretty good, but he's a very nice animal, so he'll be a purple. My first place rabbit in the class is going to be our black otter buck here, PZ or P2. He shows the best body type in combination with condition and color, so he'll be first and he'll be a purple. Congratulations. All right, Netherland Dwarf, Senior Bucks. We had six rabbits shown. Sixth place with a red ribbon is Chase Berg. Fifth place with a blue ribbon is Ryan Dolan. Fourth place with a blue ribbon, Kylie Dolan. Third place with a blue ribbon, Kylie Dolan. Second place with a purple ribbon goes to Caroline Richardson, and the first place Netherland Dwarf Senior Buck goes to Ryan Dolan with a purple. Netherland Dwarf Senior Does are up next. Kylie Dolan has two, and Ryan Dolan has two.
Okay, we have our Nettle and Dwarf Senior Does up here. Uh, fourth place and a blue ribbon will be... SR12. And she's got some nice curvature to her head. She's just a little bit longer rabbit, a little bit narrower in the shoulder area. She's got pretty color on her. Got a chestnut doe that'll be third in a blue. OB172, I believe it is. She's got a really nice head on her, but she's a little weak in her ears. She tends to be a little bit scissors in her ears. Very good width of body, nice color to her. I got a rue doe that'll be second. S3, again, she's got a nice shape to her head, uh, a little bit weak in those ears, kind of marginal whether she's got a dewlap or not. She'll be a purple. My first place rabbit in the class is going to be the little black otter doe, who is uh, B41. Uh, she's got a nice shape to her head and a good eye and ear. It's a little bit open in her coat, but it's a really pretty color on her. We have Junior Buck up next, Netherland Dwarf Junior Bucks. Netherland Dwarf Senior Does. We had four of them shown, fourth place with a blue ribbon, Kylie Dolan. Third place with a blue ribbon is Ryan Dolan. Second place with a purple ribbon, Ryan Dolan. And first place, Netherland Dwarf Senior Doe with a purple ribbon goes to Kylie Dolan. Netherland Dwarf Junior Buck. Caroline Richardson has two showing and Kylie Dolan with one. If you see people walking around here that are helping out in the barns, make sure you recognize those that are helping with the shows. Give them a big thank you for their time today and helping out. They're helping us make all these shows run smoothly. along with that if there are some folks that want to help with fair cleanup that begins at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning it takes a lot of people hands on deck to help do some light work and pack up things sign up for that it's at the extension office and all help is greatly appreciated Saturday morning at 8 okay we have our junior buck class up here um, Third place, going to be the Rue SRIE or SR12, something like that. He's just a little bit long in that head and ear right now. He does have some promising body type. He's in really nice condition. Sometimes he's, this breed of rabbit takes a little bit of time for those heads to develop, but he'll be a blue ribbon rabbit. Second place in the class. Going to be our black otter. It looks like it's RRO2, maybe. He'll also be a blue ribbon rabbit. He's just a promising little head and ear on him. Pretty good shortness of body. Just a baby in his coat, but he's just got some beautiful otter color on him. And in first place is a little black buck. RRO3 on that one. Uh, my opinion, he's got the best head shape and the best ear in the class. He shows a little bit of development of coat. Very promising little buck will make him a purple. Our best to breed in the Netherland Dwarfs today is going to be the Senior Buck. Junior Bucks, just up, we had three. 
Third place was Kylie Dolan with a blue ribbon. Second place is Caroline Richardson with a blue ribbon. And first place was Caroline Richardson with a purple ribbon for her Netherland Dwarf Junior Buck. The best of breed for the Netherland Dwarfs goes to Ryan Dolan with her Netherland Dwarf Senior Buck. Congratulations. Polish is up, Senior Buck, Sophie Bell, and Blake Peck has three. He has two. Oh, excuse me, Sophie Bell has one, Blake Peck has two, and Blaine Reese has one. Sophie Bell is another one of our seniors today, graduating class of 2020. She has on the gray 4-H polo sponsored by the Woodoff Farm Supply. Okay, on the table we have our Polish senior bucks. Uh, Polish are just a, another small breed, um, just a little bit larger than Netherland dwarfs we just had up here, but a completely different structure of animal. We'll talk a little bit about this little chocolate buck. Uh, we're, on a, we're on a dwarf, you want a round head, almost like a tennis ball. These guys, you just want a slight curve from the base of the ears to the nose, a little bit of width of body, and then a short, compact body with the dwarfs you want sitting up on their front feet. These guys are down on the table. Uh, ears need to be erect, carried together. Uh, we, and again, their top weight is three and a half. We've got one down here that's about four pounds, so we've got to give him a red ribbon today. Um, he has an excellent flesh condition, but he's just a little bit a little bit long and rangy for the breed, and but uh, really feels good. He's one of our nicer condition from a flesh standpoint rabbits we've had today. So he's coming back down here, third place in the class, going to be our little broken buck. He's going to be a blue ribbon. Uh, when you look at him, he's got a really nice little head and ear. He's got the very nice curvature, carries his ears well, and he's got a very nice eye. But he's just, he fails a little bit in body type. He just tends to be a little bit flat and weak in his type. He's a little hutch stained in the back end, so he'll be a blue. My little blue buck here, who is, it's a P, P something, P7, P2, you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with a P. He'll be second place in the class. He's going to be a blue ribbon. He doesn't have quite the shape ahead. Uh, the blue variety in this breed tends to be a little bit weaker in overall quality, but he does have some excellent ears, good shortness of body. He'll be a blue. Our first place rabbit in the class is going to be the chocolate buck we used for our demonstration. It looks like he's PG something, PG1 something. 
Uh, PG1? PB1? Okay. He'll be first. He'll be a purple. Uh, got a nice little head and ear on him, nice shortness of body. Does have a little bit of summer color, but there's not a darn thing you can do about that. So very nice little first place buck there. Polish Cedar Does are up next, two of them, Blake Peck, actually one with Blake, yeah, Ellie Bell and Blake Peck, Senior Does are up next. The Polish Senior Buck, there was four of them, fourth place with a red ribbon goes to Blake Peck, third place with a blue ribbon goes to her senior shower Sophie Bell, second place Blake Peck with a blue ribbon and the first place Polish Senior Buck went to Blaine Reese with a purple ribbon. Ellie Bell is another one of our senior showers today with the gray polo shirt on. Another one of our 2020 graduates. Okay, second place in the class can be our black doe. And she is yes. PP3. Okay, PP3 it is. She shows some very nice curvature to her head, good width up between her eye, but she gets down to her muzzle. She pinches a little bit, and then she's a little weak in her ear. She does have nice shortness of body, nice condition to her. We're going to make her a blue ribbon rabbit. Our first place doe in the class is going to be the broken doe. B20. And she'll be a purple. She's got some nice curvature to her head. She's got good length of ear. Could be just a little bit shorter and overall tight, but she's got very nice condition, very pretty color and pattern on her. So she'll be first in a purple. Polish Senior Doe, had two of them shown there. Second place was a blue ribbon to Blake Peck, and first place with a purple ribbon to our senior short, Ellie Bell. Up next now, we have Polish Junior Buck, Polish Junior Doe. Blake Peck has one of each. Some of the animals from today's show is also going to be featured in the KDK's online auction. Bidding opens on Thursday at 3 p.m. and it closes on Friday at 3 p.m. If you'd like some more information on that, you can visit the kdkgroup.com.
Okay, we have a junior buck, a little broken chocolate, and he is JK7. Give him credit for a really easy to read tattoo. He's got a nice little head and ear on him. He's got a very nice short body. One of the interesting things we were just talking about is he's a chocolate broken, you can see, but he also has a blue spot up over the center of his back, which you see once in a while in brokens. Uh, so we got to bump him down a ribbon class because of that. That would be a DQ in an open show, so he'll be a blue today. But a nice little rabbit. We've got a little junior doe here. V6, a very nice representative of the Polish breed. Very nice curvature to that head. Got a nice eye, ears are well carried. And shortness of body. You know, she does have summer color to her, but that's a very nice little Polish doe. She'll be a purple. Let's pick our best of breed. Uh, best of breed today is going to be the little junior doe. Very nice little Polish. Congratulations. Polish junior buck, Blake Peck, blue ribbon, first place. Polish junior doe, Blake Peck, first place, purple ribbon. Also best of breed for the Polish with his Polish junior doe is Blake Peck. Rex Senior Buck is up now, and Senior Doe. Kylie Dolan has one of each, and Ellie Wolf has one of each. It is important while we are out here on the fairgrounds today that you respect and follow the social distancing expectations with people outside of your immediate family unit. Please remember to wash your hands often at the stations that are located all around the fairgrounds. And when you're not able to social distance yourself from individuals outside of your family unit, we do request that you wear a cloth face covering.
Okay, on the table we have a Rex Senior Buck class, Rex Senior Doe class. We'll start here with a second place Senior Buck who is going to be K844. This is a, a nice Senior Buck. He's got very nice width of body, very good depth of body. He doesn't have quite the finish of coat the first place Buck has, but he's a very nice animal. He'll be a purple. The first place Senior Buck is going to be K976. Um, very nice depth of body on that guy, very nice condition. Not real happy to be here at the fair today, but he'll be a purple. In the senior doe class, my second place rabbit is gonna be K823. Again, a rabbit with very nice body type, but a little bit open in coat. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a purple. Really like the quality of type on it. First place in that class is gonna be K905. Again, very nice body type, very nice condition, just a nice rabbit. That's also going to be a purple. Up next, we'll have Rex Jr. Buck and Rex Jr. Doe. Kylie Dolan will have those, respectively. The Rex Sr. Buck, second place goes to Kylie Dolan with a purple ribbon, and first place goes to Allie Wolf with a purple ribbon. The Rex Senior Doe, second place, Kylie Dolan, the Purple Ribbon, and Allie Wolf with a Purple Ribbon first place for Allie. Yep, Rex Junior Buck is up next. Kylie Dolan has one. And the Rex Junior Doe, Kylie Dolan will be showing three. Actually, Kylie is showing two, Ryan Dolan showing one. Okay, in our Rex Junior Buck, Junior Doe class, I'm gonna start here with the Junior Buck, who is uh, SRA maybe, 5RA, something like that. He's got very promising body type on him, got a nice coat on him, uh, still a little bit immature in his color, but really feels nice. I'm gonna give him a purple. Got, uh, got a really nice little Junior Doe class here. I'm gonna give all three does a purple. These are all very uniform, very even. Got a couple opals and a lynx. Very nice body type on third, who is uh, SRO, maybe SRD. Very nice typed animal, really feels good, pretty color, tons of potential. 
Second place, and again, a purple is going to be SRC. Looks like we got the alphabet here on the uh, these guys. And first place is SRB. And I think that little doe's just got a little bit more depth of body and a little bit more maturity to her coat, but just a really strong class of Rex all the way through. Our best to breed rabbit today is going to be our senior doe. Senior doe. Congratulations on that one. Right there we had the Rex Junior Buck with Kylie Dolan, first place, purple ribbon. First place for Kylie on the Rex Junior Buck. Rex Junior Doe, we had three rabbits. Third place goes to Ryan Dolan with a purple. Kylie Dolan got second with a purple. And first place for her Rex Junior Doe went to Kylie Dolan with a purple. The best of breed on the Rex goes to Allie Wolf and her Rex Senior Doe. Congratulations, best of breed. The rabbits that we have shown back here are ready for the champion four. With her Florida white will be our Grace Hiller showing her third senior buck. Himalayan will be Braden Clough with his senior doe. Holland Lop, Kylie Dolan with her senior buck. Minnie Lop, Jake Debler, senior buck. Minnie Rex, Ruby Newton with Ruby senior buck. And Minnie Satin, Caroline Richardson, Senior Buck, Netherland Dwarf, Ryan Dolan with her Senior Buck, Polish, Blake Peck, his Junior Doe, and a Rex with Allie Wolf and her Senior Doe. If all of those exhibitors that I just mentioned could please come up to the table.
the Washington County Farm Bureau has generously provided free bottled water for our exhibitors and for their families today. You can find them set up at the 4-H Hall. Thank you to the Washington County Farm Bureau. Okay, hey, we've got some uh, very nice four-class rabbits up here today. Let's give all these kids a nice round of applause. Um, when you get down to picking the uh, champion or the you know best of four-class, whatever you want, what title you want to give it is, uh, what you try to do as a judge is you try to evaluate each rabbit against the ideal for their standard and for their breed, and the uh, one that comes the closest in your mind is going to be the winner. But some very nice animals, very competitive. Uh, easily the best bunch of 4-H rabbits I've looked at so far this year. Um, our reserve four class going to be the little red mini Rex right here. Congratulations. Our uh, best four class standard Rex down here on the end. Congratulations there too. Good job. Give you a hit fist bump. Good job. The four-class rabbit reserve goes to Ruby Newton with her senior buck, Minnie Rex. And the champion goes to Allie Wolf with her senior doe, Rex. Congratulations to them. The reserve award is sponsored by Sanford and Nancy Rugg family. And the champion is sponsored by the Bazooka Farm Star Incorporated. Moving on to the six class breeds. We're going to start off with the Flemish Giant Senior Buck and 
Grace Hiller. As we start off the sixth class, I want to make sure that all the exhibitors stick around. We'll be starting uh, showmanship just as soon as we get done with the sixth class uh, rabbits and then picking the champion reserve and overall. So stick around. We'll make sure we do the showmanship if you can. Okay, on the table we have a Flemish giant. This is our biggest breed of rabbits. Uh, they can get up to uh, 20, 25 pounds. If you go to the state fair, they always have a largest rabbit contest up there and a Flemish giant wins it every year pretty easily. But this is a very nice representative of the breed and for this time of year, he's in really nice condition. Uh, generally, the larger breeds of rabbits suffer more in the heat. They don't take the heat as well. But uh, considering how warm and humid it's been, this guy is really in great shape. So he's gonna be first in a purple. Uh, D24, it's a very nice Flemish. He's got a nice bone to him. He's in good condition. He's got a nice profile. It's just a nice rabbit. Champagne, uh, correction, Flemish giant senior buck, Grace Hiller. She got first place with the purple ribbon. Now moving on to New Zealand Senior Buck, and Grace Hiller has two. Also New Zealand Senior Does, and Grace Hiller has one of those. On deck, we'll have Silver Fox, Senior Buck on deck.
Okay, on the table we have our New Zealands, two black New Zealands, and a white New Zealand. Uh, these are probably the, uh, the, between the New Zealands and the Californians, the main commercial rabbits that are raised in the country today. And when you say commercial rabbits, those are rabbits that are uh, generally raised for, uh, you know, like meat purposes. Uh, we're going to start with the senior bucks. I got a white buck here. He's going to be second, and his ear number is um, STOR, maybe 57 ADR, something like that. Uh, he's going to be a blue. He's got very nice flesh condition on him, but he's a little bit open in his coat. My first place senior buck is just a plain old eye. And he's just one very nice rabbit, especially for this time of year. Excellent black color on him, very nice condition. He'll be a purple. My senior doe down here is, her ear number is, looks like it's got a J on the end of it, okay, she'll be a purple. She also shows some very nice bone to her, some good flesh on her, doesn't have quite the body type uh, the senior buck has, so the senior buck is going to be our best to breed rabbit, he's just a very nice animal. New Zealand senior buck. We have second place with the blue ribbon goes to Grace Hiller. Also with the purple ribbon, first place goes to Grace Hiller. Grace Hiller also gets best to breed with her first place New Zealand senior buck. Silver Fox is next, senior buck, Bailey Reese. Okay, on the table we have our silver fox. Um, silver fox are kind of a unique breed. Um, when you get the rabbit out and look at them, they have commercial type, just like our New Zealand would have or our California would have, but they have a little bit of a unique coat. They have a, uh, a coat that doesn't have a lot of flyback to it. It's just an erect coat. When you look at it, it's a longer coat. You know, we're looking at length of coat on these guys, looking for evenness of silvering. Uh, what kind of condition are they in? They should have the same body type as like the New Zealand or the cow, but they got, just have that very unique coat. This guy is going to be first. Uh, it's got an MG in it, I believe. Ammo. Ammo. He'll be first. He'll be a purple. He's very representative of the breed. You know, ideally, maybe he likes to have a little more size to him, but he's got a very nice head and ear. He's got a nice length of coat. He's very even in his coat. When you look at him, he's very nice and even this in a silver ring. So he'll be our purple and our best of breed in the silver fox. Congratulations. Silver fox, senior buck. First place with the purple to Bailey Reese and also for best of breed, silver fox, senior buck goes to Bailey Reese. Congratulations. Now we're going to be picking the class six rabbit reserve and champion. New Zealand, Grace Hiller with her senior buck. 
Flemish Giant, Senior Buck, Grace Hiller, and Silver Fox, Bailey Reese, Senior Buck. Be picking for the Class 6 Class Rabbit Champion and Reserve. Okay, we only have uh, three rabbits up here for our sixth class champion, and uh, that's not unusual. Most uh, most fairs, even open shows you go to, about 85 to 90 percent of the rabbits anymore are the four class rabbits. Uh, the when I was a kid growing up, it was completely the other way, but uh, times have changed a little bit. You know, people don't have as much space, and so it's easier to raise smaller rabbits in smaller spaces. So, three very nice uh, sixth class rabbits up here today. My reserve is going to be my Flemish. My champion will be the New Zealand. Nice rabbits. Well done. Yep, good job. Good job with the rabbit there. Unique, unique breed there. All right, six class rabbits. The reserve goes to the Flemish giant. Senior buck, Grace Hiller. And the champion with her New Zealand senior buck goes to Grace Hiller. The champion sponsorship is sponsored by William Bloom Family, and the reserve is sponsored by. Okay, we're going to take and go into the uh, overall champion reserve, and we want to take and get the. Uh, So I need the uh, champion uh, four class, Allie Wolf with her Rex, Senior Doe, and then we also need Ruby Newton with her Mini Rex Senior Buck, and then also still up on the table is our six class, New Zealand Grace Hiller Senior Buck, and then also Felmish Giant Grace Hiller Senior Buck. Okay, we've got four very nice rabbits up here. Uh, let's give these kids a round of applause. Um, always a challenge to get a rabbit in really nice condition in the middle of the summer, but we have four very nice rabbits up here, very nicely conditioned. Uh, this year, the uh, reserve overall rabbit is going to be my Black New Zealand right here. And my champion overall is going to be the Rex down here. So congratulations. Well done. Good job. Nice rabbit. Good job. Good job. See, so you twice. You get two up there, huh? Thank you.
overall champions for the winner for reserve is going to be with her New Zealand, Grace Hiller. And the champion with her Rex is Allie Wolf. Overall, congratulations. Okay, with that, we're going to start into uh, showmanship. And uh, Mike's going to start with the seniors. So any senior showman, if you would, take and uh, get your rabbit and bring it to the table, please. Senior showmanship. Last call for senior showman.
or show persons up here at the table. Uh, all four of these young ladies did an outstanding job and uh, be completely honest with you, this is the fifth fair I've judged in person. And uh, any one of these young ladies would have won the senior showmanship at any one of those other fairs. They all did a great job, very well done. Um, tough to pick a winner, but today I'm gonna go with the uh, mini Rex down here on this end. Did a great job, well done. All of you did wonderful. Good job, well done. And the other ones will get purple ribbons. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Showmanship there for senior. Congratulations goes to Ellie Todd for her winning the showmanship. Also Ellie Bell, Sophie Bell, and Kylie Dolan, and they all received purple for their showmanship as well. Intermediate is next. All those that are going to be doing intermediate showmanship, if you want to please come on up with your rabbit. Intermediate showman, last call. Intermediate showman, bring a rabbit to the table.
our intermediate showman up here. Uh, let's give all these young folks a good round of applause. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of times the toughest thing about showmanship is getting the courage to come up here and do this. The, uh, most of these fo young people have done this before. I ask them each time, you know, how many years have you been coming to the fair? Have you done showmanship before? They all did a really nice job. And I think it's obvious that you guys do some pretty good coaching down here for these kids to, you know, because they... Uh, all, all have a really good idea of what they're doing. But uh, today, I think my uh, winner, I'll get my trophy here, my plaque, going to be the young lady right here with the little Holland Lop. So congratulations, well done, good job. Good job to all of you. Thank you. And the, uh, the balance of the class will get purple ribbons. So that was well, they all did a very nice job. Good job. Intermediate champion for the showmanship is going to be Adeline Klepfer. Congratulations to Adeline. We had seven folks that did that. Hunter Robertson, Isabel Duvall, Elliot Debler, Allie Reese, Blake Peck, and Bailey Reese. Congratulations. Junior showmanship, if you want to come on up, juniors, bring your bunnies and come on up. Junior showmanship, last call, junior showmanship. Come on up and bring your bunnies.
as Mike's finishing up with the junior showmanship. Just a couple of reminders, if you got awards or trophies today, make sure you look at the uh, tag that come with those. Uh, on the back, it shows who sponsored that trophy. Please, please, please send thank you notes out to those people. That's the way we keep people sponsoring those. So if you do have that, please do that. Um, also, I'd like to take this and uh, thank my ring help. Uh, we got Teresa Todd who was doing the announcing today, my wife Chris, Chad Dolan, Mike Todd, Lance Bell. Um, without those people, uh, this show wouldn't happen. So let's give them a round of applause, if you would, please. Thank you.
get ready to wrap up here the junior showmanship. Running down the list of all who's here, Kenna Robertson, Ruby Newton, Bryn Northup, Quincy Duvall, Ryan Dolan, Ali Wolf, Caroline Richardson, Braden Clough, Kinsley Kepler, Jake Debler, Brett McDowell, and Chase Berg. Find out here just shortly who's going to be the junior showmanship winner. Okay, as Mike's wrapping up here with the junior showmanship, let's, let's thank Mike for coming down and uh, judging our show this year. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Okay, our junior showman, um, the, uh, a lot of times these are first-year kids or second-year kids, so it's a little bit tougher for them. They're not as big as the other kids, tougher to handle the rabbits because your hands are smaller and stuff, but they all, I thought they all did a really good job and uh, at least took an effort at it. Some of them I had to help them a little bit. Uh, this year, my champion showman, the juniors, I'm going to go with this young lady right here with the uh, broken mini Rex. Congratulations. Well done. And we'll give the, uh, everybody else a purple ribbon. I think you all did a very nice job, especially some of those first-year kids. So good job. Congratulations, uh, junior showmanship goes to Bryn Northup. Congratulations to her.
Tara? Tara, can you hear me? Nothing?
Can you hear me now in the goat barn? How about now?
Can you hear me now? Testing, testing.